right? It says treasure hunt. So it's 20% off today. Yay. All right, thank you. I figured out that this one says Irwin Pearl. So that one, it says E-Pearl. And it looks like it has like water drops on it. So this one is a definite yes. So $6 with 20% off. All right, so out of this necklace thing, I was like, oh, genuine pearls. But look, CP for Carolyn Pollock. Oh my gosh, for two something. Absolutely, yes. Okay, and then, so I wanted to show this one next, okay? It's like a repose, which is like hammered through the back, um, floral brooch. But what's awesome about this is it's marked Joseph right there. Me okay, look at this, you guys. It's so stinking adorable. So it's sterling silver, and I've never seen these before. I've never sold it before, but these are ducks. And it says, a bib holder for baby. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, AKA Lily Works. And today I am back in Appleton, Wisconsin because they have a big New Year's Day sale. We just drove two hours with the whole family. Gideon, say hi. Oh. Say, say thank you. Thank you. Um, so you can see it right behind me. It's Memories Antique Mall. And I was, I uh, in my last video that I just edited, I um, showed you guys digging through the jewelry there and I found some really great pieces. The Nina Ricci, the, um, uh, the Lalique, the Crown Trifari pieces, and I didn't even get to shop the rest of the store. So I have a whole family of six here. Everyone say hi. 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 <laughs> um, and we'll see how long they last. Maybe James might want to take them to Chick-fil-A Play Place or something if they get too antsy. But you guys, let's go find some beautiful jewelry, okay? Okay. Yeah. Seraphina's like, okay. Well, actually, Seraphina likes jewelry, right, Seraphina? Yeah. All right, so let's go on inside and see what deals <laughs> they have. <laughs> All of our sales are highlighted as you see on the map. They also have things on all of the showcases and the things showing the deals on them. Okay, you can fill this out. This is a free raffle. You can fill it out. We draw every hour Oh, and there's one winner per hour. Okay. And we do not have to be here to win. We will give you a call if you oh, do Oh, okay. Could each of us, or even the kids, <gasps> you guys get to be in the raffle means you could win a prize. You could win a prize. It's a pretty cool prize. I don't even know what it is. I'm serious. <laughs> so yeah, you guys can all fill out one. All right. And then you can take a map when you want to look through the mall. All right. Awesome. Thank you. All right. It says treasure hunt. So it's 20% off today. Yay. All right. Thank you. So this one is $1 each. And that means if you find earrings in here, it would be a dollar per pair. Um, so I'm probably just going to take... Um, a couple boxes and sort and then you can take some and sort so this would be 20% off so like 80 cents for these pieces I didn't see these last time but that's okay because I got some great deals oh a loon yes so this is gonna be our yes well I'll just put mine over here Serafina can put hers um, in there and then I have my helpers. <laughs> Get in, what'd you find? Maybe. Gentle. Maybe let's go find. It's pretty cool. Well, okay. Gideon, you wanna go find chicken decor? <laughs> chicken decor. Pottery. It, what is that? Three dollars each. Those are really pretty though, huh? Is Those are house? Yeah, honey, Christmas is all done so we don't need any ornaments. Oh look at jewelry, two dollars each. Yes. Let me step over my Gideon. And then I'm gonna dig through here. Alright, I have helpers. This is a two dollars each or three for five. Gideon's helping. Pemberley's helping. 
Annalise is helping. I actually have had that one before. There's like brooches and things. Okay, oh. I in my face. Stop. What does this one say? Bangle. This one looks like made in Italy. We have some coral, well, a coral clip on, and then regular clip ons. We have earthly treasures. We have this chain heart brooch. Nautical hand painted necklace. That one's pretty crazy. This one's I'm gonna put as a maybe. So here I have this scrimshaw right here, but it has a gold filled chain. I might lock these up this for somebody. And good. Oh, and then this one is a multi-strand like cobalt, almost like royal blue. Um, multi strand like Jap multi strand Japan. Which one do you want? Neither. This one looks like glass or quartz. It's like a handmade artisan piece. Which one do you want to look at? This one looks very Alexis Kirk. I don't know. This one look good? I actually do really like this and it comes with clip on earrings. She does like that. <laughs> She's a movie. Uh, this one will be a maybe, okay? We'll put that in our maybe. And then let's see, here's some big purple clip-ons. This is very Not interesting. This? Not that one, honey. What? Not that one. It's very interesting with two children. Oh, this is fun. Look at these clip-ons with the dangle you charm. You didn't ask me if you wanted it. This one would be a maybe. Not that one. Do you want this little sparkly one? No, this one is a reverse painted thing. No, not that one. What's this? We have some golf clubs and a flag. This one says Jerry's. If Jerry's comes in like a shop Goodwill lot or a jewelry jar, I will sell it. Yep, that's Jesus dying on the cross. Alright, so the kids might not mu last much longer in the store. Um, ooh, but look at this. I love the white enamel. This is a cross. I don't think there's a maker on it, but again, I love like the 1960s, 70s look. So that one is going to be a yes for sure. I'm just putting my maybes in there as well. Okay, so do you want this? Um, nope, not that one. What is this? Good, is this good? Not that one, little heart clip-ons. Those are so sweet. I don't see a maker on them though. What is this? A camel? Hmm, interesting. That one is a maybe. I'll put that in the maybe. Do you want this? Not that one. No, no. Do you know I actually got two, two maybes? Really? You did? I got some purple maybe and some else maybe. So Pemberley and I are going through this bin and I'm looking at these nice quality earrings and there was no name but then look down here. Look at that, say, you guys. Say, say, no, Pemberley is leaving because I'm gonna leave. Oh, can you say Scaparelli? Scaparelli. Yeah, this is so great. What are we looking for? Um, something that you love. 
Yeah, and what are, what do you keep saying? Keep looking for re. <laughs> keep looking for reselling profit. That's so silly. This one says 50% off everything. So I do see jewelry. You can hear Annalise's boots that she got from the antique store over by us. So we have, this was about $2. We have this slider bear. This one was, um, let's see. This one would be $2 as well. Eh, this looks like a little, um, Italy basket. Oh, this one says Spain. That is interesting. Two dollars. So this would be a dollar. Okay, we'll get that one. <laughs> That's Maybe cute. You said you would get a surprise. No. All right, three dollar clip-ons. These look nice. So a dollar fifty. I would pay a dollar fifty for those. Those are nice. Now, but the other ones are a little worn. Ooh, more where earrings. Are we? I actually just listed these, but I listed. Where I think there are, are posts. We? We are, I'm not sure, honey. Look for the numbers and then find the number on the map. So interesting. I'll look at those a little bit more. Clip on. I am like in love with this. Look at this bowl, abalone shell bowl. It's $15, but it's 25% off. So now where yeah. Are we? This one is, okay, I love all these swung vases here. Ruffle, there's like some really cool stuff here. Look at all these art glass Daddy. pieces. They, oh, they're they finding all the, <laughs> the vendors to keep them occupied. Oh, there's a big folk art uh, owl. All right, we're still looking for jewelry, you guys. Fishing lures. Uh, you can make fishing lures into earrings. <laughs> it will just snag your sweater. All right, I see some jewelry here. Let's just do a quick peek to see if anything looks high quality or catches our no eye. Worry, Mama. This one is a genuine stone. Is it a brooch? $49. No, 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 no. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, this looks like Italy, doesn't it? What does it say? Spain again. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe these are Spain. Hmm. Learning something new. Interesting. <gasps> Ooh, look at over here. Jewelry. Guys, I found jewelry. All right, we see a lot of paparazzi here. Which is not what we want. We want vintage okay. loveliness. So, so it's three zero. we're no, going to walk away from there. No, There's a bear. No. These gigantic lucite grapes. Oh my word. And I kind of love this. Look at this. Soapstone box. I love that. That is so lovely. 32. So this booth is kind of expensive. And let me show you what I am getting from this. This is a, it says gold tone fish pin, $15. But when you look at it, it is a crown trifari. This booth I think is 20 or 25% off. Yeah, let's keep going. So this one says 20% off. So this booth is 20% off, but I see some better pricing here. Do you see that? So like a dollar. These are carved. A dollar. I think, I think I'll take a chance on those. What are these? Are these Avon? Yeah, Avon for like a dollar 97 with 20% off. These are Napier. These are just like bread and butter things that you buy at a low price and then they might sell in bundles or what is this? Oh, look at this little drop right here. That is so interesting right there. So there's two pairs of earrings in here, but look at that drop. Okay. Yes. <laughs> what are these? Lisner. Uh, if I have like a 
a purr or a dummy purr for Lisner, then I would get it. So these are some screw backs, more screw backs. Um, not marked. These are clip on black glass. Yeah, we'll get those because that's like a French jet. So this booth has some good stuff. So they're still looking for the numbers on the map. That is a really great activity for them. All right. So this is another weird one last time that I was here that did have jewelry in these bags, but it's really hard to see because it's like one behind the other. So let's see, does this one say anything? It says AKI, I think that is, is that Anne Klein? AKI, I think maybe. Oh, there's numbers over here. Hi, Mama. Hi, baby. They're still Hi, with their numbers. Oh, here's an Anne baby. Klein. Anne Klein necklace, and it has the faux pearl. This might be a nice vintage Anne Klein. So I might get this. Let's see, what's the percentage off? 20% off. Uh, I'll take that one out. That one's that one sparks my interest a little bit more. Right, so we have a bin here, and I think this is where I was last time where I found some like Joan Rivers and things. This kind of looks really cool and modernist. So this booth is 20% off. Daddy went to go look at stuffed animals with the kids. What does this say? These are pierced. What do they say? $2. I think we'll grab those fun. Ooh, that would be a good plan if we can find some statement earrings here. I've been doing well with the statement. These are only a dollar. These are puffy button. These are going to be a maybe. They're pierced. Anything that's like Alex and Ani doesn't do well for me. There's a map. Thank you, Annalise. So yeah, James is taking the kids to go look at stuffed animals. What does this say? It looks like it says Versace, but I, I don't think it is Versace, is it? It says cast or coat pin signed. What is it signed? It's signed B something. I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe I'll Google ends of this. And I figured out that this one says Irwin Pearl. So that one, it says E Pearl. And it looks like it has like water drops on it. So this one is a definite yes. The so $6 with 20% off. New plan is that James is taking the kids out to the car to eat crackers. All right, these say 925 on the bottom. They're like sneakers. Uh, so sterling, $5 with 20% off, so like $4. Yeah, we'll get those. Those are interesting. These look Monet, yeah, Monet clips. Those are gonna be a maybe. This is fun. This is so fun, yay. We're finding things. Coat pins, $5. <clears throat> All right, I'm glad that the kids are going to be settled. What does this say? Punk bracelet? Eh, I don't know. But it is stretched, so that's not that awesome. Let's see if there's a mark. Oh, there is a mark. What is it? S-I? Or something. I don't know what that is. And I don't know. We have a ring. Oh, Chico's ring for $3. Yes. I love my Chico's jewelry, and that one does say Chico's. I can hear Gideon <laughs> laughing from far away. <sighs> it's a little it's a little hectic shopping with kids. It really is. But this is just a season, and I'm going to miss this season once it's gone. This is a really pretty hair stick. Um, yeah, we're doing the best we can, for sure. Alright, let's see. These possibly silver. I'm going to look on the hooks. Mm, not saying anything, so we'll not get those. Oh, these are pretty. 
Okay, how do you pacify the Gideon? Sister, bassinet full of animals? It is. Whoa, meow. Okay. How do you handle these long shopping trips when Mama's sorting through little things and we'll be here for two hours? We find the stuffed animals. A baby bear. It is a baby bear. Yeah. A bear bear. Huh? Yeah. It's a bear bear. It's a bear bear. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I usually do find things in this bin here, this vendor here, and they have like glass, but it says keep doors open, so that's nice. So when I am on the waiting list myself for the for an antique store. Oh, do we see puddling? What? All right. Well, I don't know how much this is. What does it say? This one is all items in this case, three dollars plus twenty percent off. I think we'll take a chance with this because the construction is really good and I see puddling right there hmm okay so that's fun all right so there's some good vintage pieces here like this one feels very nice as well a little bit of a tangle going on that one's newer um, fold over clasp looks like angel wings. Ooh, look at these clippies. Owls. No mark, but those are fun. I think someone would really like those. They're articulated. I'm going to think about those. Again, I'm, I like getting statement clip-ons. These look like canateal, filigree, possibly sterling silver, screwbacks. So look at those. Um, this has the petty point like faux turquoise look. Yeah, I love the music here. <laughs> I'm probably am going to get a copyright strike if I um, am not careful with talking over the music here. And that just means that my video would not be monetized. Oh, here's a big tangle tangle going on here. Let's see, are these genuine pearls? Sometimes if the hook says like gold filled, oh, it says crown trifari. Okay, let's get that one. <laughs> We like that one for two something for sure. 
that one was nice. Um, anyways, yeah, I think I was talking about the copyright strike. If I don't talk over it, uh, my video doesn't get any um, money <laughs> at all. So, and like, yeah, let's see, stainless steel, Russian, Amazonite. Hmm, I don't know. It doesn't have a mark, maker's mark attributed to it. So, uh, should I get these? Ah, I'm still gonna think about it. It's a big chunk of stone. What is this? This one is Monet. Oh, it says Monet right there, yay. Okay, we'll get that one. Little Monet. Monet's still doing well. What is this? It says sweater clip. Hmm. Interesting. Is this like a cut Indian penny or something? Oh, look at that sweet little earring. Are you marked? No. All right, so out of this necklace thing, I was like, oh, genuine pearls. But look, CP for Carolyn Pollock. Oh my gosh, for two something? Absolutely, yes. And then this one right here looks really, really nice. Um, and it might be gold filled. So I'm gonna look into that further, but I'm gonna take a chance with that one. Ooh, I see some really pretty uh, Millie Fiore here. So let's take a look over there as well. Let's move this. Wait a second, what's this? Modernist-ish. Just a bunch of like pearls. I mean, if it's Marvella or something, maybe. Or Nice hand knot with like a encrusted clasp or sterling silver clasp. Like maybe this one might be, but I might take a look more. All right. Okay, so I have this giant bag, right? And it looks like my total was $389 for all of this jewelry in here you guys so this is this might be a two-part video <laughs> because I got so much jewelry um, and I'm really excited to show these to you so let's see um, there's just bags of jewelry let's see what this one is this one does it say anything looks like they wrote some Sorry for all the crinkling. Um, they wrote some notes on this. So this one says three for five. And then this one, yeah, this one doesn't say anything. So let's see. Um, I'm just going to, yeah, let's do this one right here in this bag because a lot of these things you did not see. And my, um, LED lights or whatever in this box in my light box are like flickering or something and I've tried everything to like help it I've unplugged it I've just I've put it plugged it into different areas and I don't know if you guys would be able to see it on camera but it's like yeah it's just I don't know what to do so for now I'm going to record all these goodies oh my gosh okay so I believe this um, these that I'm going to show you here are were five dollars but they were 20% off so each thing here I'm going to be showing you was four dollars so I'm pretty excited about this so this was the first thing I picked look at this like hammered brutalist artisan copper brass soldered um, choker collar thing that unmarked but this is a massive statement piece I brought my little bust here in case I wanted to showcase anything for you guys so yeah it looks like that oh my gosh isn't that insane so I would anticipate this selling for at least 25 uh, so that one was awesome 
All right, we have this. This one is a Coro, but it is a really neat, like textured matte starfish. And I really feel like that look, I like that textured matte look. It looks very high end. So I'm curious, I kind of wanted to Google Lens this real quick with you guys. Let's see if it comes up as anything. So coral um, is not as desirable as like Monet or Crown Trifari, but uh, sometimes it can do pretty decent. And I really liked this one, it was really fun. So yeah, it's just loading some results. I was watching a YouTube video. I'll try again, something went wrong. All right, here we go. Um, there's one coral right there, but it's not the same. Let's see what they have it. They have it at 20. Um, all right, so right off the bat, I'm not getting this, but okay. So I wanted to show this one next, okay. It's like a repose, which is like hammered through the back um, floral brooch. But what's awesome about this is it's marked Joseph right there, meaning Joseph of Hollywood. Okay, Google lensed it. Look at what comes up. Floral Joseph of Hollywood brooch. Someone has it listed for 325 on Joseph of Hollywood website. Unsure of that, but I definitely knew that Joseph of Hollywood is a definite yes. This is a brand to be on the lookout for. I was so excited about this one. Yay! Okay, let's see. Um, there was another one that was similar that I didn't get a super great look at. So we're going to see if I can find it here. What is this? Okay, so this one, what does it say? It says something, <laughs> it starts with an S, uh, Siler, Cyber, some, something, I don't even know. So this reminded me of um, John Hardy, the John Hardy tie clip that I had sold. I mean, this is not Danish modernist, but how the signature looks and how the tie clip looks back here reminded me of it. So I decided to take a chance on it. I don't know what it is. I'm going to Google Lens this to see if anything pops up for us and then I'll be able to find out what it is. Oh, yes. Okay. So it did pop up. Stefan Dweck. Okay. Stefan Dweck. That's what it says. And that one is for $86. Here's another one. Stefan Dweck brooch, $100. Yay! Okay, another score right there. That is awesome. All right, then we have these. Now remember you guys, I paid $4 for these. This is like a modernist looking earring and it definitely looked like sterling silver when I picked them. Well, I, I looked at them, picked them up, and right at the bottom it says 925, which means this is like gold over sterling silver. So for like some sterling silver earrings that have like a very modernist look, I was like, yes, absolutely. I'm so excited about these. I was just getting some really great scores. I just kept handing <laughs> them to her. That's why I didn't record anything from uh, this like, um, it was like a, vendor who had their stuff behind the glass so I it was like four dollars for each thing in there and so I was like here you go take this take this take this so this one is unmarked but it looks so interesting so obviously we have the geo geometric modernist we have the matte gold we have this long like faux pearl teardrop kind of it's very large abstract artsy and I just feel like this is something I will put up on the screen if I find anything about this. But um, this was really cool for $4. Super, super neat. Okay, look at this, you guys. It's so stinking adorable. So it's sterling silver, and I've never seen these before. I've never sold it before. But these are ducks. And it says, a bib holder for baby. 
How fancy is that? So we have some sterling silver bib holders for $4. I could not resist. Obviously it's new old stock, never been taken off. Um, so I'm, I'm just, I'm just beside myself. That is so stinking adorable. Okay, next, what is this? This is a long brooch. This one is, oh, it's a Monet. And it's in really excellent condition here. Um, and it's really big. So uh, this is a nice Monet piece. And for $4, I just cannot go wrong. Um, even for a smaller Monet brooch, I would still pay, you know, $4 for all right, I got a couple of Chico's necklaces. So this is one. You can kind of see it here. Kind of looks like that. Um, so there is that statement. And then is this one? Yes. So this one has the uh, like dyed shell pieces. And then this like medallion with abalone. Um, checkerboard look but yeah oh that just fell over all right you guys get the gist but another Chico's big statement piece and then this for four dollars looked like an unmarked sterling silver and abalone ring this definitely looks like the older abalone and an older ring uh, so I do want to test it it looks like it might have been resized at one point. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I see very, very faintly, very faintly, you guys, at the end, it does say something. Oh, it says 925 and some other things that I cannot make out. So it does say 925. Oh, this is so awesome. I love it. It's small. <laughs> it's a small one, maybe like a size six. I'll have to figure it out. Again, um, you guys, I if you see anything uh, from this video or past videos, past recent videos that you like and you wanna buy, you can just click on my Lilyworks reseller website and it should be all listed in the jewelry. So these should be listed very shortly, um, bef either before this video goes up or shortly after the video goes up. Oh, maybe I should keep that out because I want to test it still. This looks like garnet. And I cannot resist. Garnet is one of my favorite stones. So this is a barrel class garnet bead. And they are graduated. So they're small at the ends, larger. So I can get my presidium here. We can test it right here as it's like beeping at me because the pen is hitting things. Oh, maybe it unplugged itself and then replugged itself back in. Okay, so now you guys can see. Make sure the plug is all good. And then once this stops blinking, I can test it. So I don't want to touch the stones too much because it, it could mess with our readings here. So I'm going to try to pick a bigger stone. If this was hand knotted, it would be even better. Uh, this is not hand knotted, but still, let's see. All right. Okay, cool. It is in, where is Garnet? So it's actually a little bit past Garnet for some reason um, here, but I'm very certain that it is Garnet. Uh, so that is a really nice piece for only $4, yay. I wonder if there's anything else I wanted to test. Probably. Oh, oh, these. So I got both of these for two, um, for four dollars. So two dollars each. They can be worn together. She has them all clipped together. So one is just a little bit shorter than the other. But I got this because it looks very Art Deco Czechoslovakian. I say that because of these small black spacer beads that look like discs. A lot of the um, Art Deco jewelry, like Czechoslovakian jewelry that I've um, listed and researched in the past have had those shapes. So I wanted to see if I could test this, if it was rock 
quartz and if it is that would be an awesome score for like an art deco uh, necklace or I guess two necklaces I don't know if I would list them together so I have my presidium here and let's see oh I have to let it go back down all right let's get this so it looks like it's just jumping around in the glass. Then I'm gonna do the black. Let's see if the black does anything. So the black goes past glass. I don't know, maybe it's cut onyx, but it might just be cut glass. So this looks like, I really do think that it's Art Deco Czechoslovakian though. It really, looks like that to me. I'm definitely going to research this more, but yeah, for two of these necklaces, yay. That's that one. And then we have this beauty. I think this is a Napier. It looks like a very, very high-end costume piece though. So let's see. Yes, Napier. I believe this like more scripted Napier, I think is 80s or 90s into 90s I believe um, I know that they still sell Napier now at like Kohl's but it looks different than that mark so I got that one and what is this oh this is a massive massive like artisan piece but look at how awesome this is I cannot even stand it so look at all these stones okay I'm gonna test the toggle, see if that's sterling. Oh, there's a little rhinestone on the toggle itself. Let's see what we have here. So I see amethyst. I see, what is this like mossy red? It, so if it was green, we would call that moss agate. Oh, I see a garnet right here. That looks like a garnet. And then these are faceted agates I believe um, and I don't think that these are sterling silver but this right here is like glass this whole circle part but isn't this awesome like this is, would be like a high-end Chico's piece if Chico made something like this it, they didn't uh, this is definitely an artisan piece but yeah it is it is so fun so I'm going to save this one for testing as well. Uh, probably like, probably could test like the stones and uh, the sterling, see if they're sterling. Okay, this one is the copper and brass, which looks really nice together. Uh, and then it's a rhino. I don't see a lot of rhino jewelry, which is why I picked it up. No mark, but um, I'm thinking made in India or some kind of fair trade type of uh, jewelry. Let's see, these feel like maybe wood, but got that one. We have this. I have no idea what it looks like, but just the fact that it's like awesome. I don't know, maybe 60s, but it's like bezel set glass, I think. Um, and then silver tone. Let's see. Let's see what this would look like here. Let's see if we can move this out of the way. Oh, is this like a tassel thing? These might be plastic, but so pretty, like a cobalt blue. Oh, it is a tassel. I love tassel necklaces. Yay! Love that. That is gorgeous. Okay. Then we have this statement choker, how they turned the shell chunks into flowers. I love that. We'll put that on the bust here so you guys can see. There we go. So it looks so nice. Look at that. It's kind of asymmetrical. It has little crystals in there and that just looks so nice for $4. That looks like a high end piece like can you imagine wearing this that is definitely a statement piece I'm trying to f adjust my camera a little bit so it doesn't fall over so we have that one okay this 
just feels like all really nice stones. Again, this looks like it might be gold over sterling, possibly like the clasp. I don't think the clasp says anything, but these are all nice stones. So it looks like Jasper, these might be gold over sterling, like spacers, maybe like onyx. But yeah, this is this is a very like earth tone neutral, high quality stone feel. Got that one I want to test. This one is so cute. I think this is genuine malachite. I don't think it's like glass to, made to look like malachite. And then it, I'm, this fish looks like a sterling fish. But then look at these carved fish right here. Isn't that so adorable? There's little carved fish. Now it is on a leather adjustable cord, which isn't ideal, but I couldn't resist with all the cute fish. If someone likes that cloisonne Asian jewelry look, they would love this as well. So I wanna test that. I got this and I don't even know what it looks like, <laughs> but I was like, oh, it looks like it might be a full Perur set. And I was like, for $4, that would be a good deal. And I saw that there was clip-on earrings in here. So um, so you see, oh, wait, is it clip-on? Yeah, so let's see what we have here. Oh, what is this? What do we have? Oh my gosh, okay, so we have a bracelet. Does it say anything? No. So we have the bracelet here. It looks very like Roman looking. And then we have, oh, this long dangle statement pendant this and it has the c clasp clip on earrings vintage this is like chico's style before chico's was chico's all right no mark yeah no mark so then we have that oh we have a full perer here and then we have the the clip on earrings um it does have a patent number but no maker but for four dollars this really awesome looking fun vintage set here i'm thinking what are we thinking 70s is that what we're thinking um guys let me know in the comments but that is what i'm getting right now from just eyeballing this set and it does feel nice not like super high end nice but it does feel nice so yay there's that one. And then we have this set here, another set uh, for $4. This is a clip-on porcelain. I think this like might be fine bone porcelain, but these are made in England and you will see, this, it does say made in England on the bottom. So this is just so delicate and beautiful and romantic and you know, you could go to high tea having your fine bone porcelain or fine bone china or whatever <laughs> on and your beautiful little earrings. So that is the first bag. Oh my gosh, I have so much more to show you. Okay, so I did a quick sterling silver test real quick. Um, the only one out of these that did ter test sterling is this. So this little fish tested as sterling. Uh, this did not, this did not. And then I realized that I didn't show you this for $4. I don't know how this was sneaking away, but it's just the most darling little thing. I feel like this might be gold filled let's check so on the spring ring yes it does say tiny little words and then we have a little tiny carved cameo right there and then two oh my gosh the tiniest little stud earrings <laughs> look at how little that is so tiny all right let's see if these say anything the earring um, backs, yeah, it does say gold filled on the earring backs. And then I'm gonna check the spring ring. And then it says um, Carla with a C, 120th carat gold filled. So yeah, these are some gold filled, beautiful things. I'm actually wondering 
if this might be different because do you see how the gold is a little bit different color than the chain itself so sometimes people will put like actual gold pendants on a gold filled chain the um, bail itself does say 12k gold filled so might not be but that's interesting so there's this little oh my gosh dainty little piece or I guess little set for four dollars only and now we're going to get into some of the a little like more pricier things and I think these were ten dollars each with 20% off so I guess eight dollars and let's grab some <gasps> look at this look at this look oh my word that purple are you marked i don't care it is absolutely stunning nice dimension good height like stunning purple color love that okay it's like a little little surprise in here <gasps> oh okay oh my gosh look at this like filigree work so this is very royal looking, definitely vintage. It has like a hook clasp with a safety chain. Has these shield enamel things. There's Fleur de Lis. Oh, there's a pharaoh? Why are there pharaohs on here? Do you see that? It's like a star, pharaoh, pharaoh, star. And then, oh, a pharaoh. So this look, this very much looks like the 1960s style where they had like one long charm hanging off. Um, but it looks like this hooks into it. I'm curious if this is like an 800 silver, maybe sterling silver. I don't see any marks, but I was so intrigued by this. I know it has some meaning. What does it mean? Why are there enamel shields and pharaohs so that's i'm i'm pretty excited because i don't see something like this this is interesting to me and i should probably test this so maybe i'll test this later to see if my acid testing shows me anything Ooh, okay we have is this a pendant yeah oh my word okay let's see what the back says first um, it says 925 and then there's a little mark there that I'm I cannot read um, But it looks like one of those sand dollar things and then look at this Sparkling geode here Yeah, so these are all like this I can put my finger into it. It's like sparkling gold crystal so I do have um, a sterling silver database that I do check I don't put sterling silver marks typically in our Maker's Mark file because there are just so many. So I have mostly just costume jewelry Maker's Marks in our Maker's Mark file, but I'm really curious to research this. For $8, sterling silver, artisan piece, maybe Danish, maybe Mexican? I'm not sure, but this is exciting to me. All right, next. Oh, these feel so heavy. All right, let's see, are they marked? They're definitely sterling with like maybe like a little faceted onyx drop. And then in the back, it says Mexico 925. So these are sterling, and these are heavy. So I was excited to get these for only $8, yes. Look at that, like heavy, heavy, heavy. Yeah, so that was nice. Okay. We got this piece, not real turquoise. So if you're thinking, whoa, Rachel, you got that for $8, not real turquoise. But it is, however, a huge statement Chico's piece with these faux turquoise. So this is not a vintage piece and, um, you know, it might seem a little crazy to pay $8 for a Chico's piece, but this has a lot of things going for it with the faux turquoise and the um, faux uh, tortoise shell. Did I say tortoise shell before? <laughs> faux tortoise shell is so in and this just feels high quality. It is double layered and this is very, very wearable, you know, right now, today 
for a long time. So fun. All right, what else do we have? Oh, okay, I am so curious by this because it's a necklace, okay? So let's look at this. There's a little one trying to escape. Okay, so this is a necklace. You see this? And it has all these little gold fish linked in there. And then there's no clasp because these are both pins. I have never seen anything like this. I could see this being worn, draped, maybe even across the shoulder on a blazer, pinned with like these koi fish. I don't know, but this just screams high end statement, look at me, runway. So interesting. I'm wondering if it's marked at all. Let's see. Looks like somebody might have tried opening this maybe, but I did not care for $8. I, I want to wear it. <laughs> like you cannot go to like Kohl's and get something cool for $8. So let's see. No, no maker's mark, but this is so interesting. This was the first thing I grabbed from the $8 case. Yay. All right, let's get this one. I have a feeling this is Juliana. We see the long navettes. This is what I collect. And then in the back, I see some puddling going on. And so I'm going to research this further. Uh, this is a very high quality feeling piece. And yeah. All right. So this one, yes, I do suspect that it is a Juliana. Um, and I'm going to have to research it further. I can either ask in the, uh, there's a Juliana Facebook group where you can post it and post the back, make sure there's clear pictures, post pictures of the pin and the puddling and the prongs and people, uh, could try to give you the best information that they can. Otherwise I can check on the, um, is it Juliana jewelry website? and scroll through the confirmed files there to see if uh, that would show up. So there are those. And let's see, I'm going to do a few more and then I'm going to do another video because this one's getting kind of long. Okay, there we go. Um, so keep in mind, $8, you guys, for these things. Awesome. Uh, so, oh my gosh, does this look like ice? Ice, you guys. Look at this. Look at this. Look at how clear and absolutely gorgeous. Have you ever seen such a beautiful clear brooch in your life? Bezel set rhinestones. All of them. All of them are open. And I don't see a maker's mark or anything. I don't care. Actually, I'm going to run my thumbnail to see if it catches any words um just to see if it says like gold filled or anything printed on there I don't think it is but I don't even care it does not have to be attributed to a maker I'm definitely going to research it it is a domed flower highly sparkling icy this is going into my collection pricing this up this is exciting I love 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 this all right, next we see this open back beauty as well. Very art deco in my opinion with it. like It's like geometric, right? But it has the amethyst glass. So sash pins and things were really popular like 1910s, 20s. And then um, those sash pins use the purple amethyst glass often. Um, and then we see these really interesting prongs. They kind of look like feet in a way. You see that a lot on sash pins and check uh, jewelry as far as holding like the big, huge citrine color stones, amethyst glass stones. And, but the, this is like more geometric. So that's why it's giving me like art deco vibes. But again, open back. This possibly could be sterling silver, maybe. But this is absolutely fantastic. Possibly getting close to an antique. And it is awesome. Okay, this is kind of what I'm talking about as far as like that citrine colored 
or I guess it's yellow, but we call, we say citrine tone, right? Um, <laughs> when we're talking about glass, we don't say yellow glass, uh, or we say amber tone glass, um, but it's very like romantic, Art Nouveau-ish. Uh, it is held in there, it's like kind of like a sawtooth bezel. And then here's the back. It feels heavier than what it looks. Like this is a thicker brass, it looks like. Um, but yeah, isn't this very, very, very pretty? Very pretty. I actually think that Hannah would love this one. Hannah, right? You love this one? <laughs> Hannah at, f oh my gosh, Jen told me how to say it. Fleur, Fleur de, de Montagne or something like that. <laughs> Fleur de Montagne. She has a, an excellent channel. She really likes this uh, very old antique look. Actually, Janine does as well. Janine over at Slow Happy Vintage. And then I got this. And this is really interesting. And if I had to um, just guess off the top of my head a high-end top designer, I would think it's like Scaparelli because of the coloring and... Um, just the styling. I know that Scaparelli uses a lot of bolder colors to their brooches and the interesting uh, shapes, but again, it's unmarked, but again, it looks like high quality. Uh, I think maybe some two rhinestones are missing, easily replaceable because they are clear, but I really was curious to research it because it's like that interesting circle brooch with the interesting rhinestones and then it has these like lines layered on top with rhinestones so ooh, ah <laughs> I have to be careful with these so I'm really curious about this all right so this is uh wrapping up and we're gonna see all these beauties here and if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed today we actually hit 3500 subscribers. So yay, thank you so much. And our Facebook group is climbing up to 1,000 members there. So I am so excited. Thank you guys so much. Make sure to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what's your favorite. Let me know if you learned anything. And obviously, um, if you if I was wrong with anything or, or you guys want to add any information to anything that I picked up, definitely feel free to leave it down in the comments down below. And as always, make sure you're out there thrifting so you guys can live generously. And I will see you guys in part two of this haul video. Bye, guys. I want to take a moment to give a huge thank you to all the Patreon members. Thank you so much. It really means a lot to me that you guys want to support this channel. And if you guys saw anything from the video that you want to buy, you can go to lilyworksreseller.com, click on the jewelry collection on the website, and you can purchase things that you had seen right from the video. Also, if you want to see what I use for my business, you can click on the description below my YouTube videos. And as always, you can click on this link to check out more videos from the channel. And also be sure to subscribe. Bye guys.